Thank you. Uh, like, I said, like I said before, my name is Will Fitzhugh with 5 AM Solutions. Raise it. Raise it. There you go. Um, and I'm going to talk today about cheap DNA sequencing uh, as a disruptive technology for health informatics. So probably most of you, hopefully, are at least aware that there's been some recent uh, news reports marking the 10th anniversary of the sort of completion of the draft, human, uh, draft sequence of the human genome. Uh, in just a couple of days, will be the 10th anniversary of that event. Uh, but uh, in the intervening years, there's been a lot of competition and development of new DNA sequencing technologies. That, uh, the original human genome project cost billions of dollars, but now it's possible to sequence a human genome for much, much less, ten to $20,000, and the costs are going down all the time. There's a variety of, of vendors that um, have devices in this space to do DNA sequencing listed here. Some of these have products on the market, and some of them are, are uh, companies that are, uh, have products that are still under development, but they're all very exciting, and, and there's an incredible competition in this field right now. So um, it, it's good to go through you know, what this data means and how it's being used. So I'll briefly talk about, talk about that. So what, there's, there's sequence providers that use these devices to generate DNA sequence. And some of these providers, like the Broad Institute and uh, the Beijing Genomics Institute, are uh, research centers to do their own research based on this data. Some of them, and in fact, you can see Illumina is in both places. They actually use their own sequencers to provide sequence to, the, to some of their customers. And then companies like Complete Genomics and EdgeBio. EdgeBio is a local company here that does, they both do next generation sequencing uh, as a service and provide the sequence to you. You send them the samples and they do the sequencing. So there's a variety of customers for this kind of data. Uh, there's researchers that, that use it. Uh, there's lots of those. There's information providers, companies that will sequence your DNA and then provide the sequence back to you. Nomi, for instance, uh, is one that will charge you about $50,000 right now and give you access to your DNA sequence and some information about that sequence. Uh, 23me and Navigenics are also direct-to-consumer genetics companies. They don't yet use whole genome technologies, uh, but they will very soon, I'm sure. And then, of course, there's uh, people like you and me that will soon be getting access to this kind of data. So now the connections here are that all of these, all of these sequence providers provide uh, resources to academics and academic researchers. Um, some of them provide the sequencing capabilities for these direct-to-consumer um, direct companies. And then some of them will also directly give you access to your data. So Illumina, with a, with a prescription from your doctor, and for $20,000, we'll sequence your genome and give you the data back. Now, the question is, how disruptive will this be for health informatics? And my prediction is that there's going to be, based on the cheapness of this data, a lot more of this data out there for people to directly use, both medical practitioners and patients. And you can see from my expression that I'm slightly confused. I got my results from 23andMe about a month ago. And it's interesting, but uh, there's still quite a lot of um, interesting, unanswered questions that come out of that data. So um, the other thing is there's doctors involved here. So this is just a little bit of clip art, but I think it has a nice, uh, it's, it's, hopefully you can imagine the expression on this woman's face being somewhat skeptical about this data and probably being want, want to be involved in the interpretation of the data. There's a lot of medical tests that you get now that typically what happens is you get that information from your doctor and not directly from the lab that did the test. So in this, there's a lot of concern in the medical community and also in the FDA. Uh, you may have noticed that there's some recent events uh, the FDA attempting to regulate direct-to-consumer genetics companies and wanting to have some say in, the in, in scrutinizing the accuracy of those tests and how useful they are for consumers. And then, of course, this little, the point of this meeting is to talk about healthcare informatics and health informatics. And this kind of data, I'm sure, will be making its way into patient health records and electronic health records. And it's probably a kind of data that's not necessarily uh, been in those kinds of tools before. And I think it will cause some disruption as it becomes more widely available to patients and individuals and also to doctors and clinicians. How am I doing on time? All right. Well, that was it anyway. So there you go. I'll be happy to talk to people afterwards with questions and uh, be happy to discuss any of this. Okay. Thank you.